A bill headed to the governor's desk means more radon protection for Oregon home buyers. News Channel 8's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers is live in Northeast with more on what this new law means. Keely? Well, Joe, right now, if you want to get radon out of your house, you may have to put in one of these mitigation systems. But under this law, many newly built homes would already be mitigated. So, you know, just a very active person. Just a year and a half ago, Susan McCormick was living her life to the fullest. One of her most memorable trips, climbing Machu Picchu back in September of 08. But less than a month later, Susan would learn she had a tumor in her lung. Which was about the size of my fist. It was about that big <clears throat> on my lung. Susan's oncologist suspected the cancer was caused by radon, an invisible odorless gas that comes from the earth. Susan tested her home and found radon levels four times the safe limit. I had no idea that radon was even an issue, much, le much less a life-threatening one. Within months, the 52-year-old went from an energetic outdoor adventurist to a woman fighting to survive every day and to share her story. You know, I can't change what's happened, but I can try to get the word out. Susan was one of many Oregonians pushing for Senate Bill 1025. The new law requires that all new homes built in areas with higher radon levels be built radon resistant. Uh, in some places, uh, like Northeast Portland, uh, West Salem, half the homes have high radon levels. It's not an issue in most new homes. But some feel restrictions on new homes is unnecessary. I think if you have a, a, a truly energy built home, uh, it's a non-issue. Jim Chapman says all his legend homes are already constructed to ventilate out any gases that sneak into a home. He says lawmakers should focus on older homes. Susan says she would like that too, but thinks this bill is a huge step in the right direction. Now, this bill also requires real estate agents to inform all home buyers about the potential dangers of radon. Back to you. Thank you, Keely.